it's extraordinary that John O'Keefe, she had been at McGill, also studied at McGill, and what did he do? He managed, at, in an era when no one else could do this, to put small wires, microelectrodes, down into the very part of the medial temporal lobe that Brenda had been working on, put the electrodes down there, and listen to what the cells did as a little rat walked around in a little box. And what he found was the rat was like a Geiger counter, the cells were, because when the rat got in a certain place, the cells would fire, <laughs> but if he went anywhere else, the cell didn't fire. These now are very famous as the place cells of the hippocampus, and they tell our brain and our cells eventually where we are. And he, he did another absolutely extraordinary thing. You talk about space-time. Well, we, we're so at such a primitive state of understanding the brain, and the, but we know the brain is spatially organized. But we, you know, time is going on, and we know from the old, old days of EEG that still is done, somehow there are rhythms in the brain. And another spectacular thing O'Keefe did, he had those electrodes down there, and he could hear every little bit of activity in, say, one cell, tick, 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 tick. And what he found is that when the little rat went through the place where that cell was responsive, when the rat did that, the tick, 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 those ticks moved in relation to a brain oscillation. He put together space and time in the brain in an amazing way. And this, all of this work is being followed up in ways that we can talk about. <laughs>